to open your Microsoft Access, so simply click the Start button, then search for Access. Okay, so ito na po, yung ating templates for Microsoft Access. So, we also have more templates available, but for now, ang gagawin muna natin ay ang blank database. So, ang extension name niya ay ACCBD. So, yung ating database name, dahil ito yung pinakauna nating database name, that is database 1. So, just simply click create. Okay, so ito na po yung meron tayo sa ating database. So, check natin isa-isa. What do we have? So, sa file, yung mga usual na meron din sa ibang Microsoft Office application, meron new, open, save, print, and close. What else? Sa ating namang home ribbon, meron tayong view. Okay, we have two types of view. The data sheet view and the design view. Of course, the paste. Then, what else? Ayan, may we filter na rin tayo dito. Refresh or refresh the database. And, yung ating text formatting is also available. And, the record session. Okay? So, next, we have the create button. So, sa create po, we have the application part. So, ayan, pwede po kayong magmili sa blank forms natin. We also have table, table design, so, SharePoint list. Ayan. Alright. So, we also have Query Wizard, Queries Design. Pwede na rin po tayong mag-create dito ng ating form. So, meron na rin pong templates or the form design. But for me, I'm always using the blank form. Because, ang gusto ko, ako yung mag-create ng sarili kong design for my forms. You also have reports, report design, and the blank report. Also, meron po tayong macro na kung saan pwede tayong magdagdag ng mga codes kung kinakailangan. We also have external data where pwede natin i-migrate yung mga information from other resources such as Microsoft Excel, text file, XML, PDF, email, and more. We also have database tools. So, ayan. We have the relational database, the run macro, okay, sa so access database, the SharePoint. So, as we go on with our topic, in lectures po natin, isa-isa yan. We also have the help button and the fields also. And of course, the table. But for now, dito muna tayo sa homepage. As of now, meron po tayo dito table 1 by default. Okay. So, let's check. Doon po tayo muna mag-umpisa sa design view. Again, paano magpunta sa design view? I-click po ang home, view, then design view. So, what will be the name of your first table? So, for example, ang table name ko ay Student Information. Okay, then just simply click OK. And that's it. You already have your table. But today, we were going to create our field name and provide the data type of each field. So, ayan, meron na tayong ID. So, let's say ito ay student ID. Also, after ng student ID is the last name. Ayan, that is short x. If you can see, laging isang word lang yung nilalagay ko, meaning there is no space. Yun nga lang, to identify kung ang word na yun ay makihiwalay. Diba? Nila, ginagawa kong uppercase or cups lock yung next word para doon. So, ayan, last name, then short text. If we have the last name, definitely we also have the first name. Okay? Followed by the address. How about the cell phone number or the contact number? So, contact number, pwede short text, pwede rin namang number. Okay? Pwede rin tayo maglagay dito ng birthday. And what else? Lagay tayo dito ng kanilang course. Kasi sila ay mga students. Diba? Short text ko yan. So, I think okay na to for our example. 
The next thing to do is to view again. Click Datasheet View. So you must first save the table. Do you want to save the table now? Definitely yes. At ayan na nga po. You have your own field name. So for now, let us try to write Ibika. So lagi tayo si uh, so lagi tayo ng name dito. For example, Dan. Dan. Kim. Let's say ang address niya is Plydell. The contact number is ayun na lang. Ako maisip. And the birthday. Okay. Sample na natin. Ayan. And the course is let's say BSM. Okay, then next line na po tayo. As you can see, yung student ID is automatic po yung malalagyan. So, last name ulit. Ito naman ay Santos. Marisol. Daliwa. Okay, tayo itong number. Alright, so ayan, ito birthday niya. Siya naman ay BSIT. Okay, maglalagay ulit tayo ng panibago dito. Lagay ko na nga si ano ito? Abdon. ang birthday na nito ay February 2 BSN okay, so next ulit tayo si sino naman kaya si Cruz Jose from Claridel ulit ay, cellphone number na pala alright, ayan ay, so Yung ko kasi sa sobra yung ano, cellphone number. Ayan. So, let's say siya ay BSIT. And let's skip. Meron na akong apat na student information. Pero kayo, syempre, kailangan yung i-practice yan. Pwede kayong gumawa ng 20 different information, different data about that. And that is all for the introduction of the Microsoft Access.